I would call this look sexy news reporter. I would call this a coordinate set because I just learned that word. I love coordinated sets. I call them fivers because you can at least get five outfits out of them. I would call this outfit 90s bad ass chick. First thing that comes to mind is Clueless. Clueless, as if. This reminds me of the classic 90s film. Clueless. I used to think of sets as like business suits, but now I think it's more of like a cool girl, matchy matchy thing. So I used to work on Capitol Hill, and once I quit, I threw every suit set away, so I don't own one at all. But this gives pop a little leg, makes you want to do the stinky leg. I do own matching sets, but they're not jackets. It's not the first thing that I would go after. Fashion Nova has like a billion types of sets. I don't own any matching sets. This is actually the first time I've ever worn something like this. It's also very tailored. And a lot of times women my size, they don't come in my size. It seems expensive. A reasonable price, I probably wouldn't pay more than $50 for this, and that's like skirt and jacket included. I don't know if I would put too much of an investment into one of them. I'm gonna put a cap at like 20 bucks. 20 for the top, 20 for the bottom. I think the price point for this would probably be 60, 80 bucks. Maybe like 50 for the skirt, like 75 for the jacket. I think the skirt is perfect. It comes just above my knees. The back of the skirt is short and I would not bend over in this skirt. I don't feel like I'm gonna like flash, but it's not like too long. It's very, very short. My high knees kind of hanging out. With mini skirts, I would definitely get the size up. I'm not afraid to wear mini skirts. I think that as a plus size woman, I should wear a mini skirt if I so choose. <laughs> the skirt is just too short for me, but sometimes, you know, I don't mind pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I need to be more kinder to myself and kind of get out of that fear of showing my legs. I always stayed away from skirts before. Just something I told myself. When I saw it on the hanger, I thought it was super cute, but I wasn't sure that it was going to look good on me. It kind of looked like something that would look a lot better on someone who would was super skinny. I have issues with jackets sometimes. I have big shoulders. I have issues with them being tight in my arms and not feeling like I can move. Usually like jackets, especially if they're like short like this, I feel like I'm like fat guy in a little coat kind of jam. The jacket with the crop, I feel like still gives me a little bit of a waist and I feel defined and not overwhelmed. The length of the sleeves are really long, but I actually like longer length sleeves, especially in the fall and I can hide my pants if I'm a little bit chilly. You just gotta do a roll up of the situation. I'm fine with it. I usually don't do these all the way down zippers. It's a little inviting, isn't it? This all the way down zipper is like, I'm ready. I think for me, it should be sold together because the designer is telling me you wear these together. I prefer for them to be sold as separate pieces because my body is not shaped like an average short person. I don't know if I would get the same size in both because I would want a little more length on a skirt since I have such long legs. And on top, I would want it to fit a little more crop. The word set is for together. So sell sets together. I think that a lot of people like the option of being able to mix and match sets. When it was on the hanger, I thought, wow, that is way too cool for me. But now that it's on, I think, all right, I can do this. I can make it work. I would definitely wear this outfit again. I'd wear it anywhere, to be honest. <laughs> it makes me feel conscious of my body in all the right ways. I felt like a new woman when I put this outfit on. I just think that it's just like elevated my style. This is my clueless look. I'm living out my fantasy today.